seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. Howdy, howdy, folks, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Yuri the Blender Magus, and today we're going to continue modeling our favorite hyperactive knuckleheaded ninja. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, uh, please forgive me if I seem to be moving a little fast in today's video. This will be the fourth time I am making Naruto's body because the other two recordings didn't go well, and I already made the body beforehand in the live streams. So. I'm a little annoyed, but I am going to attempt to be as professional as possible <laughs> whilst recording. Today we're going to have to finish with the head by making the inside of the mouth and the back of the headband here. So let's uh, do that. With the head selected, tab in edit mode, shift Z to go into wireframe, select this inner edge here. We're going to delete it. We're going to grab this edge and we're going to either extrude, bring it out, just to scale. We're going to hit Alt O to make sure proportional editing is on connected. E to extrude. And we're just going to go one, two, three. And we're going to scale down the third one. And with this, select these outer ring here. Hit H, and then select the vertice on the tongue. Hit Control L to select the whole tongue. Control I to invert the selection. H to hide everything else. Two to go into edge select mode. We're gonna select these two edges and hit F, F, F. Control R. One, two. F, F, F. We're gonna select these. for boxer like this all Q smooth gonna bring this down control B to bevel this Control B to bevel that and lastly Control B to bevel this. So now the tongue can deform as much as we want it to. There we go. We got the tongue. Let's make the ah, one last thing we want to do. Select this right here, hit I for inset, uncheck the boundary, hit 2, go into edge mode, U twice for edge slide, go into face select mode, E to extrude down, hit G and X and bring it in, E to extrude, E to extrude, control R, R control Z, control R, S to scale, select this, edge slide, control B, And there we go. Next, let's make the teeth. Select everything, hide everything, shift A, cube. Shift Z, go into solid view. Tab, Alt X, if you have hard ops uh, to mirror it. Without that, you know, just chop it up. Delete one half and then add your mirror modifier with clipping turned on. Go to the bottom view, select the other side, and we're just going to extrude out and then extrude around and then back. Next, we're going to grab these faces here and move them up. We're going to grab these here, inset them, Alt S to scale them down regular S to scale them and then re-mirror that. Next we can grab these up here, E to extrude, 
Control R, three, select these here with Alt and right click. Alt S to scale these. Make sure I have my keys turned on. And let's go in SX to scale these in a little bit. Actually, I take that back. There we go. Uh, we're going to now GZ, bring these up, shift D, Z, we're going to R, Y, 180. Scale it down, bring it back, bring it up, leave a little gap, select a vertex on the front teeth, hit the X, it's Alt X, make sure everything is mirrored. And let's hit G for grab, scale up our proportional editing influence, and there we go. W shade smooth. Next, we're going to UV unwrap it. Go into edge mode and do this. Uh, so, first, we can actually hide the bottom teeth and there we go control E mark seam let's see how that works unwrap that's nice, that's a good unwrap. So we're actually gonna Alt H these bottom teeth, delete them, select the top teeth, and just re-add them again. Scale it down, bring it up, bring it back. back up, leave a little gap, lay out one, and next we're going to uh, make sure we UV unwrap that all the way just to make sure, yep, there we go, and we're going to select the bottom teeth, separate them by selection, and I'm going to call these bottom teeth, call these top teeth and then we're going to select both of them alt h everything we're going to scale them down move them back up Them up. There we go. Next, or the knot back here. We're going to shift A, add a plane, tab into object mode, scale it down. And scale, extrude around, and around let's 
Let's make sure this is selected. And here we are. So we've got the idea of the knot. Now we just have to tighten it up. Control R at the edge loop. Control Alt S. We have this. We're going to add a solidify modifier. If you have hard up in object mode, you can go to add modifier and solidify, and you can add a solidify modifier to it. If you don't have hard ops, again, you can go to the little monkey wrench here, go to add modifier, and you can add solidify that way. Now that we have this, we're just going to bring this up. So the bulge here is there. So we want to rotate these on the x-axis 180. And we want to delete these here. And we can move these bits. Back like so. Go R, click both of them, bevel a few times. Peel it down. Something. Feel like I've missed here. Ah. So when you scale this down, make sure it's at the medium point for one. And for two, we have to turn the thickness down for it when we scale it down. Because otherwise it'll retain the same thickness that we had at its original scale. And we don't want that or need it. There we go. This is fine. W shade smooth, and we're good. Next, let's start the sweater here. Shift S, cursor world origin. Shift A, add a cylinder. Change this to 16. Fill it with nothing. Tab into edit mode, S to scale, GZ, S to scale, S to scale, and we're just going to start moving this to be in the shape of the sweater. We're going to scale this down here, and this will be the neck. Move it up on the Z axis, rotate it SY, 
G Y S Y S X. There we go. E Z S R X G Z. Three S Y G Y. And then control R, we're going to add some more edge loops, fill out this form here. And with this, we're going to hit control B to bevel it. I'm going to turn down the amount of bevels. Then we're going to select this here and scale it in. Then we select this here and scale it out. Control R, add another one, and we can just bring these out like so. Hit Alt X and make sure that the X is checked up here. And basically, if you don't have, if you if you have if you do have mesh machine or hard ops, and you don't want to work with the modifiers uh, due to the scaling, you can just. not uh, however if you do you have to work around some things bring that down and there we go and so let's adjust this in the front view okay so that's that so we're going to grab all of these up here in the front view and we're going to bring them down. Same thing with all these up here. Grab all these. Oops. Let's make sure we mirror everything. I'm going to control click in this region here. Smooth it down. start moving it back into position let's adjust the back and we can actually now we'll leave this alone for now let's bring that down and let's probably bring that all the way there going to try to match the reference image as much as we can add a few edge loops in there shade smooth and for this you can bring this out and we'll we'll use this here as the basis to form the arms and the chest so we're going to move this up here move this here and this will be this will be where the arms start so let's grab these here and we're just going to hit E to extrude I'll cue to smooth or you can go to vertex and smooth vertices 
R to rotate, G to grab, R to rotate, S to scale, G to grab, S to scale. We're just gonna move that there. S, Y, scale that out. R to rotate. Actually, we're going to select this whole section here and rotate it this way. Alt Q just to smooth it, Alt X to mirror it. Let's go back to edge mode. Control R here, add a loop, bring it to the center there, and we can add a slight indication for Naruto's chest muscles right about there. Very slight. Start spreading these out. And now, E to extrude again. G W loop tool circle. If you don't have that activated, go to edit preferences, add ons, loop, check it, save preferences, XL. Got loop tools there. Let's bring that forward, scale it down. Take this, rotate this. Bring that down, and then bring this whole section up with G to grab. S to scale. You wanna add, right, hit control X. Next, we want to add some edge loops in here. Bevel these. Make sure there's three. And then we want to hit Control R a few times over here. And then we can hit Alt X to mirror that back. Head slide, head slide to even this out. Make sure that the back is properly, properly laid out as well. Next, you want to go here. Go this in. Shifty, duplicate this, right click, P, selection, tab, select the edge that we have here, go into edit mode, extrude it down on the Z axis, tab back into the sweater, 
3 face mode. We're gonna scale this bit up. And we're going to extrude this up as well. Select these, E to extrude, right click, turn off proportional editing as to scale. Control Z if something went wrong. E, Z down a little bit as to scale. E, Z up. W shade smooth, tab in edit mode. With this selected, we're going to F, F, O, R, S to scale, G to grab, Control B for bevel. Y. Turn on proportional editing again. Vertex mode. Add some edge loops in here. Extrude this up. We already got this extrude up. Good. Grab this and we make it flush with the crotch. Select all of this here. Something got lost in translation. That's okay. Select all that there. Need to extrude it down. Uh, S Z zero. Roll R and edge loop there. go let's select this bring it back gy Extrude all the way down. That's the scale. G grab. We're going to edge slide this and bevel it. Mirror it. In that extra mirror, it next delete these faces in here, mirror it, and we have the main body. Now we need to make the collar. We can do that by hitting 2, Shift D to duplicate, P to separate by selection, tab on object mode, separate that edge, tap to go back into edit mode, select everything, E to extrude up on the Z, E, 
right click control Z E Z up a little bit and then hit O to turn off personal editing scale it up E Z scale it bring it down tab hit control 2 to add a subdivision and then hit tab again control R to add an edge loop right here control R add another edge loop in here and then one more edge loop down there and then hit control A well tab into object mode then control A to apply the subdivision surface however we need to fix the peak through back here before we apply that so let's go on ahead and turn off portional editing and let's fix that and now apply it select these faces here actually select these edges over here control V to bevel them then select these spaces, Alt S to scale them. Should be good. Not sharp, and we want to shade smooth. There we go. Next, we want to. I'm going to select every other loop here. These are a little too many for what we want to do. Control X and then mirror that. And now we're going to select these edges here. This time go all the way around. And then Hit control B. That's good. Next, let's select these faces inside of here. And then let's scale this up. here real quick just make faces at the bottom of this here okay. I'll X mirror that and there we go Naruto's collar. Let's shift select this and the body here. And we're going to get this edge here. And we're going to get this edge here. And with proportional editing turned on, we're just going to scale it down here. There we go, just so that it, you know, covers the neck hole. Next, we're going to make the hands. So let's select everything and hide it. Shift A, cube, tab, SX, scale the cube up. Control R, 2, A, W, subdivide. 
and then all Q vertices SZ SX now make the finger Select all of these here. I had an inset, Alt S to scale, Alt Q, bring back in, delete these faces. Don't know when that was made a face. Inset these. Control Z, R for rotate, E to extrude. G, bring it up, on Q, scale down, put like these here, E to extrude. Next, you want to Select this back part, GX bring it out, SX zero. And this looks good. We're going to select everything, hit shift D, Y, then hit shift R. Select everything, G, Y. Select that edge there, cursor is selected, period. 3D cursor, select, click finger, next with our cursor at this edge here, we're going to hit period and go to 3D cursor. Next we're going to select all of these except the middle finger, hit SX. We want the ring finger to be slightly shorter than the middle finger. Select the index on the pinky, SX, we want the index to be shorter than the ring. And then select the pinky, we want the pinky to be shorter than all of them. Go back to medium point and we just want to rotate these around, give them some Offset because the hands aren't just straight on. Next, we want to select these two here, offset them on the side view as well. <laughs> and we want to select the index here. Hit Shift D to duplicate, R twice. I'm going to bring this back, and that'll be the thumb. Next, we're going to select these edges here to connect the hands. Next, we want to go to the thumb here, scale this up, make sure proportional editing is turned on. So, and then let's Alt S scale this back part up. Now 
move this down. And now we want to connect the thumb in the index like so. Next we want to get all of these back here. Extrude them back. Hit F to make that a face. Next we want to grab all of these here. Control one, extrude these down. Let these make a face. Hit control R. Go all the way around here. Perfect. Go ahead and make that a face as well. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. I'm just going to rearrange some of these here. Next we are going to add that edge loop. And we're going to select these here, SZ0. Z zero. Here we go. Next, select these, screw them back. Then let's make another face. And for this, we're going to loop this around so it cuts this off. So let's go select the poly build tool. This will help us make our faces a lot easier. You want to hold control and click basically what I'm doing here is while I'm holding control with the poly build tool on, you'll see if you hover over and corner here, you'll get this blue outline and you can click and drag and that'll basically create a face for you that you can pull out. Pretty neat, huh? Form this into a box shape and hit F. And that's good there. We're gonna do the same thing for the pinky region here. Key to extrude. Before we do that, let's go ahead and make that a face. Let's slide this back, make it a face. Slide this back, make it a face. Do something for the knuckles here. We'll take care of that in a second. With this, we can bring that down. Bring this down. That will be our. And we can make 
these faces down here. For this, we can do Alt Q, and we can also inset it with the boundary checked just to make sure that it reads. And we could actually delete these vertices right here, and we'll actually be fine. We'll delete this vertices as well. And this will be good here because we can extrude on the x axis. Bring that back, and there we go. S, Y, X, 0. W, loop tool, circle. 1, S, Z, flatten it. Scale it out, or bring it out. And now let's make. The wrist, let's add an edge loop here, let's add an edge loop there, S, Y, rotate this, bring this out, Control B, bevel both of these, there we go. Next, let's make sure that the palms are in the same position. Bring these in here. And now down here, you just want to come in There we go. Shade smooth. We have a hand. Select these back here. Just want to smooth that out a little bit. There we go. Now that we have our hand uh, we're almost done with our hand actually. We have a little bit more to do for it. I for inset, Alt S to scale, Alt Q to smooth, and then bring this up, bring this up. Select through there. Inset, Alt S, Alt Q. There we go. We got the knuckles nice and tight there. Let's select all through here. Let's just smooth that out a little bit. And there we go. Whoa. So, Alt 
H, let's unhide everything, select the hand, tab into object mode, scale it down. Okay, we were in slash for a second there. Uh, let's go back in edit mode and bring that over there. There we go. And we're just going to scale this down and move it, rotate it, scale it, bring it over here, scale it up because I actually want my hand to be a bit bigger than that. Bring it in, and there we go. Next, control A, all transforms, and then we can add a mirror modifier with Alt X. If you have hard ops, or you can go to mirror, or add modifier and go to mirror. There you go. Next, for the boots, or the sandals, we're going to E to extrude. Extrude down a little bit as to scale. Turn off proportional editing as to scale it in a little bit. G and Z. E, extrude down. All the way down. SZ, zero. Control R, add an edge loop there. Control B. Bevel, and we'll bring this down here. We'll extrude that down, add a edge loop right there, bevel this, bring it down, bevel both of these, scale these out, select these here, and then select individual origins, SZ0. And let's bring these pants back out. Let's hit Control B to bevel that. G and Z bring this up. S to scale. Control R. Good so far. Next, let's select these here. E to extrude down. There are these one, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine. Select these here, we're going to extrude these down, R for rotate, G to grab, Control R, select these here, and an edge loop, bring this down. SZ, zero, main medium point, there we go. Need to add another edge loop here, that's fine. Alt X mirror this. I'm going to build these in here, like so. There we go. Select all of these again. Delete these for now. SC zero. There we go. Mirror that over. 
And now I want to go in and select this whole thing and just move it over in general. Let's select all this here, hit I to inset it. Just to add a little bit of extra geometry in there. Then I want to go in here, hit F, make faces, and then we can make those a face, scale these out, so for here, for these guys, we definitely want to make these circles again. So let's go loop tool circle. And let's make sure that all of these are perfect circles. There we go. There we go. S Z zero E Z. Bring it down. Then let's select these two here, bring them forward. Bring this in, bring this in. Delete this edge here, delete this edge here, same thing with this one. So we have a bit more geometry here to work with. There we go. Next to mirror. here I had an inset without the boundary control Z do it again just so that we can have some more geometry in here bring this up bring this back rotate it on the Z axis R this X And now, scale this up here. There we go. SY0, GY. So, like this here. Almost done with the boot itself. E extrude down, select this, E extrude down, select all of these in here. 
SZ0. Mirror that. W shade smooth. Go to edge mode, E, move a little bit, left click, S to scale down, E, Y, E, right click, S to scale down, and check our statistics bar. We have nine, so we have one more than we need. Well, now here's a part of modeling that most of us, most of you don't know, but the triangle here, well, you definitely want to avoid them. Uh, it's actually not that bad because you're, not, you're never going to see this in here at all. And to the layman, all of these are cubes anyway, or all of these are quads anyway, so uh, honestly and truthfully, don't worry about it too much. Because now we're going to go back to the hands here, and we're actually before we do that, we're going to read these. This is well. I kind of just want to add some back in here. There we go. Just mirror it. Select the hand. Tab into edit mode. Select the thumb region, and we're going to select till all the way about back there. So let's beatbox select, select all these. Shift D to duplicate, P, separate by selection. And then let's move the thumb or the big toe down. Let's go back in solid view. And place it. That's X, G, Y. Z and then shift D hit SX and we'll just move it 50 X this time we'll scale it down we'll move this down shift D X scale it down DX GY shift D X scale it down move it on the Y Next, you want to hit vertex mode. You want to grab both of these, hit center, hit M, center. We're basically merging these, the opposite of what we did to the fingers. So just select both of those, hit M and then center. Both of those, M, center. Next, select all of these vertices down here. You can select one, hold control, select these down here. S, Z, zero, G, Z, bring it down a little bit. And then for these up top here, these are fine. So we're gonna select all of these here. E to extrude, Y, Bring them back, select these up top here, and bring them up. And then we can select this whole thing and scale it up on the Z axis. And then we can scale these along the Y axis as well. Move these, and there we go. Lastly, control E, mark seam. And we kind of want to do that with the uh, hands as well. Before we do that, hit proportional editing. Make sure it's on connected this time. And we just want to <coughs> move the feet so that they're matching. So that the feet are flat with the surface of the sandal there. Perfect. 
Next, or lastly I should say, we're going to hit V, separate that, right click, select all of this, P, separate by selection, tab, and then this, I'm going to tap in the edit mode and mirror this, I'm going to tap in here in edit mode and mirror this, there we go. And next I'm going to control J these, that do the same thing and mirror it back over. Going to select these here and just scale these up. There we go. Next, gonna add some edge loops down here. Add an edge loop right there and bevel it. Add an edge loop right here and bevel this. Mirror that. Mirror that again. Next, I want to go down here. Select these, I for inset, select this right here, inset this as well. Add an edge loop right there, add an edge loop right here. And there we go. So we have it mostly done now. Uh, let's go on ahead and save our file. Next we have to make this detail over here. Bring this down, bring this down, scale it up. And we'll turn off X axis mirror, inset these, Alt S to scale them down a little bit. And then hit Shift D to duplicate, P separate by selection grab this and then if you have hard ops and edit in object mode go to add modifier solidify increase the thickness if you don't just go to add modifier and then solidify next tab into edit mode select edges select this edge here bevel it give it one and then shift to duplicate P separate by selection grab this here Go to your solidify modifier and increase the thickness, and there we go. Next, we want to make the pouches, so let's go on ahead and do that. We're going to hit Control S to save everything. A H Shift S cursor to world origin. Shift A Q tab into edit mode. S Y. Next, we're going to control R at an edge loop, control R at an edge loop, select this edge, control B to bevel it, select this edge, control B to bevel it, select these edges over here, G twice for edge slide, or just hit G and Z to move them up, and slide this over, mirror it, tab in the object mode, control 2 for a subdivide subdivision surface W shade smooth that up there we go next grab these faces here and then we're gonna hit shift D to duplicate and P separate by selection select this here tab SX scale it down and then we're going to in object mode if you have hard ops add modifier solidify bring this up again just add the solidify modifier over here if you don't have it and that should be good however 
do one other thing here. There we go. And now... Going to make a button. So like these two here, Shift D to duplicate, right click, P separate by selection, tabs, grab this. And then we're just gonna A, select everything, W, loop tool, circle, G, Y, bring it up. That's the scale. And there we go. Uh, let's hit I for inset. And let's check boundary, Alt Q. Let's just uh, scale that down and then we can add another edge slip in there. Now we're going to select this. Uh, let's bring the solidify modifier up top here and we're going to apply it. Then we're going to shift select this pouch here, control J. And same thing with the button here. Let's move the solidify up and apply it and then let's parent it or join it to this pouch here and then we can hit control r control e mark seam and control e, mark seam and we'll just use this to mark the seam for that that's fine for now And then we're going to call this big pouch without cap locks on. Shift D to duplicate this, right click, Alt G, tab into edit mode, deselect everything, select these two, SX. And this is little pouch. Alt H to unhide everything. Let's select the little pouch first. Rotate it as to scale. As to scale, R to rotate. Go to the side view. There we go. Perfect. Now for the big pouch, we want to rotate this on the Z axis 180 degrees. We want to bring this back here as to scale. Side view as to scale. And there we go. I just want to make it. Good. Good. Now for the zipper. I'm gonna control bevel this part again. And then we're going to Alt S scale it in. Next, I'm going to hit Control 2 to add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to sharpen this edge down here. I'm also going to select the center edge loop here. I'm going to hit Shift D. Right click, P separate by selection, select this edge here, hit control A on the subdivision surface to apply it. And then I'm gonna hit object, convert to curve, and I'm gonna name this curve. Next, we're going to make a zipper. So we're going to hide everything again, make a plane, like this edge, scale it in, like this edge, scale it in a little bit, control R, control 
control R, control R, control R, control B, control B, actually. Let's hit I for inset. I for inset. SX, SY, and then we're going to delete these faces, select all of them, extrude upward. Select these edges here, control B to bevel them. Select these edges here, control B to bevel them as well. We'll bevel this in a little bit. Right now we want to select these two parts at Shift D and Z, hit two, E, Y. Then let's select the edges of this two, E, Y, S to scale, E, Z, bring these down, S, Z, zero. Next, we can select this whole thing here, hit E, right click, Alt S, L, G, Z. Select these faces, delete the faces, select these edges, make faces, select all of these edges, E to extrude. Z down a little bit, right click S to scale. E, Z. Just wanna fill in this bottom hole here. And then we wanna hit control R. And then select this middle part here, control B for bevel. And then we want to select these outer edges here, delete them, mirror it, select these inner bits here. F to make a face, select these two, bring them inward. Bring them inward. Make two faces, two faces here, and then select all of these in here, inset them, inset these, mirror that, and there you go, you have a zip. Next we bring that over here, shift A, Plane. Let's hit Control R, bevel this, select this face, SY, select this edge, G twice, G twice, Control B. Shift D, Y, G, X, R, Z, 180. G1, GX. Okay, select everything, E to extrude upward. Let's unwrap these now in case we forget for the future. And now you've got yourself something funky. Control E, mark seam. There you go. You unwrap. Go to UV editing, perfect, layout. If you have hard ops, you can hit Q, array, V, 
or X and that'll change the axis for you and there you go if you don't have that you can go to the wrench tool down here add modifier go to array and then go to your settings instead of constant instead of relative offset check constant offset change to Y change to this number here and you should be good I'm gonna scale this down however bring these back over here and change the constant offset again and let's hit alt H to unhide everything scale these down turn down the offset Scale them down. Are you listening? Turn off the turn down the offset. Uh. Also, yeah. uh. make sure that they are on the yeah. Z line. Uh. Bring these over a little bit so that they're in the center. Uh. Next, you want to. Shift D to duplicate these, GX bring them over so that they're over here with this. And then we can Shift D to duplicate this if we need to. And we'll just R, X 90 degrees, R, Y 180. Scale it down. Scale it down. Scale it down. Bring this to about right there. Oh, that's good for now. Next for this, we want to add a curve modifier with the curve as our curve. Want it to deform on the Y axis. And for the actual curve, we want to control T 90 degrees. And there we have it. Now for these, we want to, again, scale them down. Let's see what these are looking like so far. change the offset and then let's change the count until they go all the way down there and that's fine next we're going to do the same thing here shift D duplicate right click P separate by selection then select this right here name it curve 2 Next, go over here, select this, and we're going to add a curve modifier. Aha, uh -huh, we didn't convert the curve two to a curve, so let's go ahead and put an object, convert, not mesh, object, convert, curve. Select these. Curve two, and you want to hit Alt G to bring them back to the center so that they're not offset too badly. And you want to scale these down also. Go to the curve, Control T, 90 degrees. And now, we're gonna 
up the count. And there we go. So I'm going to save this. And we're going to delete this. Save it one more again. We have a couple other things we want to do before we call it a day here. We want to go back to the sweater here and we're going to either extrude, right click, turn all proportional editing as to scale, extrude this upward. Get it down. Grab both of these. Control B. There we go. Next, we're going to get rid of our subdivision surface modifier here, and we're going to add a multi resolution. So divide it three times. Same thing with the pants. Going to add a multi resolution and subdivide it three times. Next, we just want to add a few wrinkle details here and there. Uh, feel free to go as nuts as you want. Um, however, before we do that in earnest, we have a couple, we have one other thing we need to do. We need to make his side accessory here. So let's select everything, hide it, control A, cylinder, tab, alt S to make it really thin, control R, control B, E, right click, alt S, select these here, control B, bevel, Control F, grid fill, and then make sure that's facing the front view. If you have hard ops, you can mirror it downwards and be fine. If you have mirror modifier, you chop this up in the middle down there. Go to add mirror modifier and check Z so that it's mirrored up and down. Next, add another edge loop. Right here and then we want to select these hit shift D right click W circle scale them down G Y bring it in E extrude it out shade smooth inset go bring one right there as well very good next we want to make a cube scale it on the X and the Y axis And set this here. And set it again. Alt S to scale it down. Control R, Control B. Control R. Select all four of these faces. Shift D, W, loop tool, circle, scale it down. Extrude it out and set it in. So like these here, actually we don't want to bevel them. 
but we do want to bring these out. And we want to scale this like so. And we're going to shade smooth this as well. Next, select this whole flat region here. Select both of these to control J. Let's move this over like so. Alt H unhide everything, scale it down, bring it up, hard to rotate. Bring these two right here. And there we go. That'll be that'll be fine right there. So now we have officially modeled every part of Naruto so we can go back to our multi-res plan. Go and we can actually delete these two images. Hit Control S to save everything. And we're going to Control Tab, go to Sculpt Mode. And I'm mainly going to be using the Draw and Draw Sharp brushes. And let's get started. Uh, so we're actually going to subdivide again because 4 is a good resolution to start bringing these wrinkles out here. I am using a Huion Pro Tablet 22 inch screen, but you don't need a tablet to sculpt at all. Uh, whoever says you do is uh, lying and wrong. However, having this tablet definitely uh, helps your workflow, most definitely. So I would always recommend one. But. <clears throat> You don't necessarily need it to get the job done. So for areas like this, we actually want to use the inverse of the draw sharp here. So we're going to hold control while we're clicking and boom, we're adding more crispy wrinkles here with the draw sharp. Just gonna smooth it out. And then we're going to cut inward a little bit there. Now you definitely want to mark your main positions of the wrinkles you definitely want to mark those symmetrically just so that you don't spend ages doing it but you do want to eventually go in on some asymmetrical detail so be aware of that And next, we're going to cut the X off and we'll do like we said, start worrying about some of this asymmetrical detail.
Now we can add the seams. So let's subdivide one more time. We have even more detail. And now we're going to go to stroke, stabilize, and we're going to make seams. Make sure X axis mirror is turned on and we're using draw sharp for this. Just basically go all the way around your model. Now we're almost done. Let's go to the pinch. At least we're almost done with the shirt anyway. We have to do the same thing for the pants. Let's go through and quickly pinch this together. Control tab, go back into object mode. Next, go to the pants and go to sculpt mode. And essentially do what we did to the shirt to the pants. Now we're going to add the seams, so subdivide it two more times, stabilize stroke. Turn off the x-axis mirror and we want to make some for the center of the pants here. Go to the pinch tool. And a little trick, go to the inflate as well. And that should help further push these together. Whilst bulging the crease itself out. So let's go to pinch. And again, let's pinch this together. All right, let's hit control S to save and let's control tab go back into object mode. And now we have modeled Naruto and his entire body. And hopefully uh, both the video and the audio and Blender will cooperate with me today. So.
This is the end of modeling Naruto and his body. And the next part, we're going to go over UV editing and texturing. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to, uh, to the channel. Um, also, feel free to donate to my Cash App, which is in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe out here.